And now for the EFD, Mr Nigel Farage. Well, that's the 19th crisis summit that Mr Cameron's been to. As the Rolling Stones might say, the 19th nervous breakdown. And that's reflected, I think, by the funereal mood in this chamber this morning. Yes, on that Friday morning, breakthrough was cried. And indeed, Mr Van Rompuy parroted the word this morning, breakthrough. Nobody believes you. The wheels are coming off. This European stability mechanism, your new bailout vehicle, is doomed before it starts. We have legal challenges in Ireland and in Germany. We have the Estonian Justice Minister saying it won't fit their constitution. Uh, but most fun of all, the Finns and the Dutch seem to have broken the agreement that was made in the middle of the night. Perhaps they were excluded from this. Perhaps the little countries don't have a say in Europe at all anymore. It's not credible. And I think the Euro crisis now looks to me to be, frankly, insoluble. And there's also a massive crisis of leadership. You know, it's lovely to see you, Mr Van Rompuy. You've not been here for many months. It, it, it's delightful uh, to have you back. Uh, last time you were here, you told us we'd turn the corner, that the worst of the crisis was over. And with every one of your predictions, it goes on getting worse. I'm sorry, sir, you don't have the presence, the credibility or the standing for the international markets to believe that you can provide a solution. And Mr Barroso here at the G20, when he stood up at the press conference and said, we don't need any lessons in democracy, said the unelected President of the European Commission. I mean, he went on to say that the Eurozone's problems had been caused by unorthodox practices in North America. You've made yourselves an international laughing stock. You don't have any credibility, but one piece of helpful advice from me, don't this summer go on any billionaire's yacht on extended holidays because the markets guarantee we'll all be back here in August. Thank you.